spent my mind a long time and said, leave it. Uh, I will keep you in perfect peace when my mind is staying on me. Amen. Amen. And that's a true statement. Amen. The Lord will keep us in perfect peace if we keep our minds staying on you. So as we get ready to come before the Lord, let us thank God that, that, that we know the Prince of Peace. Amen. Hallelujah. He's the Prince of Peace. And I praise him for bringing back scriptures to our minds. Amen. Because there's reasons for that. And, and everybody wants peace. Uh, peace of mind. Uh, people pay for that. Great exploits divine by God is 
what kind of situation that we're in. And it wasn't a good forgiveness. It wasn't a good situation. And, and, as, I, and as I was listening, uh, they were talking about doing things in life the wrong way. Lying, stealing, cheating. Uh, and, and the Lord said, now, now you see why they're in that predicament. Uh, because they're, they're lying. They're stealing. They're cheating. Like, you, uh, like we used to be. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, and, and that's why we change. That's why we change. Amen. Amen. That's why the Lord wants us to change. Yeah. He doesn't want us to be like we used to be. Uh, because the way we used to be, or the person that lives that kind of life, they can't have a good outcome. Right. With life. They, they, they look at life as something that's treacherous. Look at life as something that's treacherous. Uh, why? Because how they're making their decisions. Right? Amen. Now, when, when the Lord reveals to you with skill, He reveals to you understanding uh, how, how to apply uh, 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 what you know. Amen? Give you, give you, give you wells of, of information. Uh, it, it's one thing to have a lot of information, but it's another thing to know how to apply it. And when you apply it. Uh, now notice what he said. Uh, read that verse 4 again. Verse 5. Oh, yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah, verse 5. Proverbs 4 and 5. Get wisdom. He said, get it. Get understanding. He said, get it. So it's out there. You have to attain to it. All right. You have to go after it. Amen? And then when it's revealed to you, what does it say? Forget it not. Don't forget it. Uh, you can you can forget it. You can be, know how to, how to how to do certain things, and and pressure come upon you. You forget everything you know. Uh, you can you can have a plan in your life, uh, like like even uh, <laughs> uh, self disclosure. You know I. I Therefore, get wisdom. Therefore, get it, right? Read. 
And with all thy getting, get understanding. Ah, this is a crystal thing. Therefore, get wisdom, the skill of the life successfully. And with all thy getting, get an understanding. <laughs> all right? Now, just go down there to verse number 11. I have taught thee in the way of wisdom. All right, now, God, the, the, uh, the word of God, it teaches us in the way of wisdom. So the way of wisdom, the way of living life skillfully and successfully is a way, meaning it's a pathway. It's a, it's, it's, a, it's a style on how to live. Amen? Uh, God, God lays out before us a way to live life successfully. Amen? We're talking about tonight uh, redeeming the time. Uh, the Lord delivered us from our old pathway, our old way of living, to walk in a new and living way. Yeah. Amen? A new lifestyle. Right. We have a new lifestyle yeah. on which we ought to live. Amen? Yeah. All right? Read that again. What verse is that? 11. Uh, what does it say? I have taught thee in the way of wisdom. Uh, so now you have to be teachable. Uh, teachable, right? To how to live life skillfully, successfully. Read. I have led thee in right path. Now, now allow the Holy Ghost to lead you uh, in a good lifestyh. Uh, now the Holy Ghost to lead and guide you. Uh, Now, now, look, that, that scripture is telling you of a decline. 
Enter not into the path of the wicked. Does he see? No, enter into the path of the wicked. And go not in the way of evil men. Now don't, don't, don't uh, emulate your life as, as the evil, wicked people do. I was watching that uh, movie, uh, I like some gangster movies. Uh, and uh, I, was, I was watching that movie. about, um, you know, even when we, when we as human beings look at the wealth of, of some nationally, internationally known families, like, you know, I find myself looking at, you know, what was the lineage of the royal priesthood in England? Um, what was the lineage of uh, the Rockefellers and the Carnegie, mm. and you find that when you go back and you really start searching things, you find out that the foundational principles of their wealth came from bloodshed, innocent bloodshed. And, and the, the word of God said, don't shed innocent blood. So all of that wealth don't mean nothing because you can't take a quarter of it with you. 
You came in this world with nothing, and surely you won't be carrying anything out except for the clothes that they put on you because if they didn't, it would be abuse of a corpse, so they have to put a shroud on you. But all of it is vanity. Vanity and vexation of the spirit. Yes. Amen. And they're only loyal to a certain point. Uh -huh. Because there is no honor among thieves. <laughs> That's the truth right there. Yeah. So true. I like that. Good. I used to uh, think that yeah. uh, people that's wicked get accumulating a lot of wealth. But I said, you know, the word said the wealth is laid up for the just. Yeah. So go ahead and make as much as you can for me. Because <laughs> I'm going to get it <laughs> if I'm just. And, and, I, and I wanted to say about Proverbs, you know, I don't know what age his son was when he was giving him these words, but I, I'm sure he was at the age where he was listening. You know, you have to teach your children things at a certain age. At, at a certain age, they ain't gonna listen to you. They got their own mind. But you have to put this information in there when, Absolutely. when the time is right. And also, too, uh, uh, how can I say it? Uh, as, as a child is growing up, mm -hmm. and it's good to instill in these principles. Yeah. Uh, and uh, oftentimes, what you see is, you know, uh, people like to test the wall. Children like to test the wall. Oh, yeah. Uh, but uh, hopefully, that, that reason will come back. Yeah. Like the prodigal son. Uh, come to himself. Thank you. Uh, and, and, and hopefully they can see, well, that path led me down the wrong way. Mm -hmm. but, but, but now I can reason and see Jesus. Uh, that, that the path that my mother talked, or my daddy talked, or my brother talked, or, mm -hmm. or, or, or whoever that was righteous in their life talked about, it was a good way. Mm -hmm. yeah. Make a choice. Yeah. Amen. God tried to put us before our choice. Yep. Amen. Mm -hmm. And and uh, to what uh, Ellen uh, Crosby was saying uh, this morning as I was driving to work, um, I was I was listening to CNN and they were talking about Buffalo and what they went through and and it was only about. Uh, 30 seconds, well, a uh, minute piece. But they were talking about uh, the unity. Thank you. And the togetherness. Thank you, Jesus. And, and then they had people talking about, yeah, uh, we, we're rallying around, we're praying, you know, we're, we're doing the things that are necessary, we're giving. Uh, and, and this is the first they were talking about. This is the first kind of tragedy that we've been through. Yep. You know, and and you know they had that snowball, they had that, that, that shooting in the marketplace, yep. and, and, and the way the individual said it was just like a Christian. These were opportunities for us. Hallelujah. Uh, to come together to show our yes. one to another. Yes. And when they said that, tears came down my eyes. Thank you, Jesus. I'm proud of work. I'm proud. Yeah. Uh, Thank you. situation with the um, Buffalo Bills young man that had the 
went into cardiac arrest, how yeah. um, those teams both fell on their knees. Fell on their knees. Fell on their knees and began to just start praying. Praying. And shielding so that the cameras wouldn't make a spectacle of the situation. They begin to start shata. They begin to start shielding that young man so that he could get out of there peacefully and get to the hospital just to watch how God can interrupt a, a national football game and have the teams that are going against each other come together that quick and get on their face. Because the bottom line is, it's all about him. And that shield, yes. they were, they were covering their brother's name. Yes. Uh, when we, when one of us was there, we all shield. Hallelujah. Uh, I talk about it. Thank you, Jesus. Right. Uh, but come on. Yeah. 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 Shield one another. Yeah. Yeah. Help one another. Come on. Now, uh, come and tell them, let's start giving. Yeah. 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 Uh, uh, and that, that 
We good? Amen. All right, keep excited again. Our feet, the way of Our feet. The way of the wicked is as darkness. Uh -huh. They know not at what they stumble. All right, so they, they, they don't even understand why they in that condition. Wait, remember I told you earlier? Yes, sir. 
Go ahead. Now you say uh, correct people when they, when you think that they're doing something. No, no, no. Correct wait, them. Wait, 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 correct wait. them according to the scripture. Amen. According to the word of God. It's not about, it's not about what I think. It's not about what you think. It's about what the Lord says. All right, go ahead. All right, so let me rephrase it then. All right. People have told people so many things that they thought was right. Well, they that's wrong. Wait, 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 wait. That's that's wrong. I'm talking about the I'm talking about the I'm talking about the I'm talking about the to get confused about what I'm talking about. I'm talking about, I'm I'm not, I'm talking about correction. So I'm, on, I'm talking about correction in the way of righteousness right. according to the word of God. Right. Amen. I ain't talking about what people think. I ain't talking about what, what, what whoever thinks. I'm talking about what the word of God says. All right, go ahead. All right, so what do you do when you corrected someone and then you find out years later that you were wrong? Do you go back to that person and say, hey, I was wrong. I shouldn't have told you that. Or, 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 or I thought you were doing wrong, but now I'm finding out it's, it's not wrong. Because there's so many people that's been hurt by people that tried to correct them and they didn't know what they were talking about themselves. All right, so where we at? Where we at? Where yeah, we're where we at? If, 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 if you walk in the light, as he is in the light, the path of the just man gets brighter and brighter until a perfect day. So, so if 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 someone has received bad counsel, you know, then then one thing I know about the law. If, if I'm telling you something uh, uh, from a pastoral standpoint right. and, and, and I'm giving it to you as, as, as the gospel of Jesus Christ and if I'm, uh, if I'm wrong, the Lord will honor uh, what I have said uh, and keep you, uh, if you're following what I, what I put out there, and keep you uh, and reveal to you the right way. That's the justice and fairness of God. That's the justice and fairness of God. And, and if I'm wrong, uh, and I find out, say, hey, well, I had that wrong. I can humble myself and say, hey, uh, I didn't have that right. Uh, but, but don't miss the premise. The premise is that he gave something. Mm -hmm. Evangelists and pastors and teachers uh, for, and, and, and apostles for the perfecting of the saints, for the work of the ministry, for the building up of the body of Christ. Amen. So, 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 don't have it in your mind that that uh, that this is man talking uh, when it's when it when when it's God talking and, and, and his way of his way of living is. Uh, in other words, don't let, don't let any deception come into your mind because the Bible says, obey them that have the rule over thee, uh, whose faith follows. Amen? So if you got a man or a woman of God that is walking by faith uh, and not by sight, living this thing, uh, giving your life to this thing, uh, and giving you good counsel, uh, and if they err in one error or one way, don't throw away the, the process of God. Right. Man. Go ahead. Uh, I was just recalling a, when we were down in Florida, we went to this church. He was preaching on not good enough. And not good enough. And, and what he was saying about that is you're never good enough. We're never going to be good enough until we get to be with Jesus in, in eternity. <laughs> While we're in this life, we got to keep pressing on. Don't, don't ever think you got everything together because something will slip up. Something will mess up. Yeah, you you know. got to keep striving. striving to be better. Amen. All right. All right.
of your feet. Mm -hmm. Consider the way you live your life. Yeah. Amen? Amen? Consider that. Because God has, has given us time. Mm -hmm. Christ has redeemed us. Thank Amen? You. So that we can depart from the power of wickedness and, and enter into the power of life and remain there. Thank you, Jesus. But we've got, we've got temptation. <laughs> uh, we've got tests and trials. Sometimes we get weary. Yes. Amen? Uh, but we've always got to look and say, Lord, how am I living my life? Mm -hmm. yes. if, I, if I get off track, I've got to get back on track. Uh, i got to consider myself. Thank you, Jesus. Uh, uh, if, if I find myself in a bad place, oh, God. Thank you, Jesus. I'm going to say, how did I get here? Oh, God. Thank you, Jesus. Uh, what made me here? Yeah. My God. What decisions did I make?
Yes. Go ahead. Bishop, sometimes it's not, we make it more difficult. Just give what you need and want to other people. Yeah. yeah. That's not really rocket science. No. <laughs> we make it so biblically complex, socially yeah. complex, intellectually complex. No, no. You blew it. You wanted God and everybody around you to have mercy and love uh -huh. you. Just give that away. Yeah. 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 That's it. I did. It's not difficult. My brother. Bishop, we're saying that we have a five-fold ministry. I've often said, get out of the way and let God be God. Yeah. Get the beam out of your eye before you try to get the dust out of your brother. You can, you can do so much damage to your brother yes. trying to get that little bit of dust out of his eye with that, with that tree in your eye. Huh? Huh? Stay in your place. Stay in your lane. And let God be God. Yeah. Um, Bishop used to tell us, you got a job on your hand. Standing in that mirror. Yes, sir. Go ahead, brother. Be quick to repent. Amen. All right. Let's go over there and do. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, I'm sorry. Praise the Lord. Uh, you know what I was thinking today while I was on my job? You know, you often see people, like you say, moving in their own rail. And, you know, I just found myself in a situation where I felt like I wish people just would practice in their own scope <laughs> of professional assignment. When God has called us to do what he has called us to do as saints, practice in your scope. Yeah. Study to show yourself approved and walk in the vocation in which he has called you. And just like um, Elder Ratcliffe said, if you just look in the mirror and you seek God, God, what's my assignment? Yes. You know, what am I supposed to be doing uh, over here? Right. Let me not fail the gate. Right. Yeah. Yes. Let me do my assignment. Whatever my assignment is within the body of Christ, let me find myself doing that. And I often, you know, encounter that at work when people get over in to the work that I do and, and then they botch it up and then they throw the information over into my mailbox or whatever like, hey, you fixed something that I drastically may have messed up in the mental health realm. I get, I get a little irritated with that and, and I often want people to practice within your own professional scope, yes. would you please? And respect, let us respect each other because I respect the realm in which you practice. Please respect the realm in which I practice. Amen. Amen. All right. So let us go over here to uh, the book of Ephesians, uh, chapter number four. I'm sorry, chapter number five. All right. Ephesians chapter number five. Sorry. God wants us to walk in his path. Yeah. To live our lives. In the way which he designed. Amen. <laughs> and oftentimes when the Bible talks about walk, it's talking about lifestyle. Mm -hmm. It's talking about your environment in which you live. Amen. <laughs> and we've already uh, come to the conclusion that God has established the lifestyle in the way that we ought to live according to his wisdom. Mm -hmm. Amen? Amen? And we don't, uh, we're not born necessarily with the wisdom of God. We have to attain it. We have to go get it. Mm -hmm. uh, we don't really understand God. <laughs> uh, yeah. We have to attain it. We have to go get it. Uh, his ways are what? Not our ways. His thoughts are what? Not our thoughts. Am I right? Amen. So, so we have to we have to do some things. We have to discover God. Mm -hmm. uh, Amen. Uh, uh, as He reveals Himself to us. Hallelujah. Am I right? Hallelujah. 
Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Holy God. Thank you, Jesus. He feeds the chapter number five and verse number one. What does it say? Be ye therefore followers of God as dear children. All right. Now, anytime you see that, that be therefore, therefore, wherefore, uh, uh, moreover, that means he said something important previously. Mm -hmm. Amen? That is, that is essential. So let us, let us go to chapter number four. <coughs> right? And look at, remember this, this, this last thing he thought really begins with verse uh, 17. All right. Verse 4 and 17. This I say therefore, and testify in the Lord, that you henceforth walk not as other Gentiles walk, uh -huh. in the vanity of their mind. Now, now don't live like other Gentiles. Don't live like the wicked. Don't live like the ungodly. Uh, in the vanity of their mind. Now, I start to look at that word out. But these next verses, it actually describes what vanity means. Vainness. Uh, don't, don't spend your life uh, on vain things, on empty things. The things that don't matter. Uh, it is genealogy. Holy uh, uh, stuff like that. Uh, uh, who shot God? Is it for who shot God to shot? Did he yell? <laughs> Amen? Amen? Amen. 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 Amen.
21. Uh -huh. If so be that ye have heard him and have been taught by him, as the truth is in Jesus. The truth is where? In Jesus. In Jesus. Mm -hmm. Amen. And, and the Lord teaches us. Mm -hmm. He's a master teacher. Amen. He taught so well that, that they were in amazement yes. uh, and astonished at the time. Yes. Uh, uh, Amen. Yes. Amen. Yes. All right, man. That you put off concerning the former conversation of the old man. Now, conversation here means your, your lifestyle. Mm -hmm. Get rid of the old lifestyle. Mm -hmm. Get rid of the old you. Amen? Now, sometimes the old us like to show up. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Even though it was put to death. Yeah. It likes to show up. Yeah. Uh, but we got to get rid of it, though. Man. Uh, Which is corrupt according to the deceitful lust. Now, now the old you is corrupt. Yes. Do we believe that? Amen. I was talking to this one new Christian. <coughs> and he said, Well, first, you know, I don't believe the Bible, but I don't believe that I was wicked. I don't believe that I was evil. Jesus. Uh, what are you See, I don't like that. Uh, mm -hmm. Believe that he was saved. Believe that he was holy. Jesus. But I wasn't evil. I was never corrupt. Uh, I was never wicked. Uh, uh. Careful. Who is the uh, Wow. Mm. So why do you need Jesus? Right. Right. He was born in sin. <laughs> It's shaping in iniquity. Boy! <laughs> you don't have to train a child. I, I don't mm. ever think that you are above Christ. Mm -mm. Oh, no. That you have surpassed the need for Jesus. Jesus. Never think that you have ever surpassed the need for repentance. Oh, my God. Mm -mm. Mercy, mm -mm. Jesus. Mercy. Ah. Uh, all right, Jesus, we got to move on. 23. Uh, and be renewed in the spirit of your mind. All right, now, let your, let your, let your mind be renewed. And he says in the spirit of your mind, talking about your attitude. Uh, we need to renew our mind. He said, be not cut on, but be what? By renewing of your mind. All right, read. And that ye put on the new man, which after God is created in righteousness and true holiness. Now notice what he said. Put on the new man. Mm -hmm. uh, put on the new lifestyle. Mm -hmm. Which is what? True holiness. True holiness. And righteousness. And what? Righteousness. That's what we want. Am I right? Yeah. That's what you want. True holiness. Yes. True righteousness. Read Wherefore, putting away lying. Now stop lying. Mm -hmm. That way, stop lying. Let's stop it. <laughs> uh, he didn't say go on the 30-day fast. <laughs> uh, he didn't say hold the prayer meetings. He said stop. Stop. <laughs> Tell the truth. Uh, stop lying. Read. Speak every man truth with his neighbor. Uh, talk when you deal with your neighbor. Speak the truth. Read. But we are members one of another. Yeah, yeah. We're, we're brothers. We're brothers. Amen? We're Amen. members one of another. Sometimes I get mad with my hand. I don't cut it off. Sometimes my hand gets cut. This hand immediately goes to it. It's easy to Am I right? That's the way we all are. Help us with one another. This one on 46 is why do you use stupid hands? <laughs> <laughs> <Don't. laughs> uh, even if I did that, is that going to help? No. Uh, you try not to help, you stupid, you dumb. Uh, and they, they need help. Uh, right. Give them the help they need. Man. Then go back to them and, 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 and correct them. In the spirit of them. Right. Thank you, Jesus. You already believe. Yeah. Sure. Ah. They 
just getting in it. Slice it up? What's the scripture? Lord, help me here. Uh, 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 he that is spiritual? Yeah, that's, that's a good scripture. But I don't think you're the one. You are here and see that you don't devour. Yeah. yeah. Consume one another. Don't do that. Why? Because that individual belongs to God. Amen. Right. Amen. God said. Amen. Hallelujah. Well, well, that was about David. In David's story, David, God is his king. But well, while David was king, David committed a soul. God, God, God didn't advocate David as king. He committed adultery and murder. Two things that he should have been put to death. But God did what? He forgave him and had mercy on him. Right? And to show up, to show up, God really, truly forgave him. Bathsheba, right? Mm -hmm. Had a son. That's right. Huh? Who became what? King. King. Uh, I had a adulterous relationship. Yeah. Yeah. God elevated me to king. Yeah. Huh? And check it out. David, uh, He said, I'm, I'm but a child. Like, I, I don't yeah. want to go in and out between your people. Yeah. Give me wisdom. Yeah. Like, he's the product of David and Bathsheba's humility. Mm. And so we see yeah. him. He's elevated in that state. Elevated. Jesus. Isn't it the love of God? Yes. Yeah. He'll take a mess and turn it around. Oh, yeah. He'll take a mess and turn it around. Hallelujah. Yeah. And, and, and he didn't give up on me. We don't have to give up on our brothers and sisters. God Amen. don't scrap nothing. Don't scrap nothing. All right, read the verse here. 25. Uh -huh. Wherefore, putting away lying. Now, stop lying. Speak every man truth with his neighbor. Talk the truth. For we are members one of another. Uh -huh. Be ye angry and sin not. Now, you get up, you get angry, but uh, I don't see it. Read. <laughs> Let not the sun go down on your, upon your wrath. That means that, that, that if your anger turns into wrath, get rid of it. Not before the sun goes down. Mm. Neither give 
place to the devil. Go, go now, a devil to have a place, meaning room in your mind. Yes. Uh, don't ruminate. I should cuss him out. I should kill him. Uh, I should get even. Right. Uh, no. How can I get even? Jeez. How can I cuss him out? My God. They did me wrong. I'm going to do them wrong. Forget this. You can't render evil. I hate them. Uh, they're evil. Uh, uh, they're no good. Uh, don't, give, don't give that devil space in your mind. Huh? Uh, Bible says we resist the devil. Step back. Because you know the seed of the enemy is coming with poison. Am I right?
Let him that stole uh, come no more. Now you poor and you steal. Jesus. But rather let him labor. Now you get a job. Right. Working with his hands, the thing which is good. Now then, you know, work with your hands. You know, then he said this. That he may have to give to him that need it. Now, now that, that is a lie. Look at that. It's a complete turnaround. Mm -hmm. uh, you steal it. You stop stealing. Now you do what God says. Now you got an abundance mm -hmm. where you can help somebody else. Yeah. That's good. Mm -hmm. that's, that's the blessings of God. Amen. When we walk in His way, He 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 causes your cup uh -huh. to go. Uh, so that others can catch the overflow. Thank you. Uh, he says, God is more than enough. Come on. Am I right? Uh -huh. Let no corrupt communication proceed out of your mouth. All right, the, the gossiping. But that which is good to the use of edify. Build people up. Yes. Mm. That it may minister grace unto the hearers. Right. Mm. Some people think I don't know what I'm talking about people. I don't know what I'm talking about. I don't know what I'm talking about people. Huh? But people think I do. People don't think you go around talking about Huh? You know why I did that? Because they didn't want to have something. That's right. 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 Yeah, be careful when people accuse you of cheating. You cheat on me. They may cheat. They try to put on you. Cover it up. Cover it up. Yeah. Thank you, Jesus. Gangs people play. Come on. It's a song of a place. We got a And grieve not the Holy Spirit. Don't grieve the Holy Spirit. Of God. Yeah. Whereby ye are sealed until the day of redemption. All right, yes. That all bitterness and wrath. What verse is it? 31. Okay. That all bitterness and wrath and anger and clamor and evil speaking be put away from you yes. with all malice. All right, yes. And be ye one kind one to another. Now, Paul has said, therefore, in that first verse that he wrote, in chapter number five, mm -hmm. to talk about all that we just read. But here's, here's the key point right here. Be kind one to another. Uh -huh. God wants you to live your life in kindness one to another. Yes. Right. Right. Mm -hmm. That's an utmost priority of God. Yes. Yes. Utmost. Right. Be kind. One to another. Mm -hmm. Be. And be ye kind one to another. Uh -huh. Tender hearted. Be tender hearted. Mm -hmm. Don't be hard hearted. Be tender hearted. Yes. One to another. Be. Forgiving one another. Forgiving one another. Can I be honest? Be honest. Thank you. <laughs> I, 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 I wanted to teach on forgiveness. I said, well, Lord, let me teach on forgiveness. The Lord said, well, you need to study it first. So you can really teach it. <coughs> I thought I knew it. I said, no, nah, you, you, you need some more. I want to add to what I, what I think I know. And possibly get rid of what I thought I knew. That's right. That's right. Mm -hmm. That's right. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Jesus. I ain't get upset with the Lord. That's not a mistake. Thank you. I just said thank you. Yeah. <laughs> yes. 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 Go ahead. I think the greatest statement of forgiving is when Jesus Christ told God, "Forgive them. They didn't beat me. They didn't." 
nailed me to the cross, mm. put a crown of thorns on my head. Mm. He said, but forgive them, Lord, forgive them. for they know not what they do. Thank you, Lord. That's true forgiveness. Yeah. yeah. And, and, and that thing, uh, what he described, was so powerful and moving to Stephen yeah. when he got stoned. Oh my God. To yes, sir. Yes, sir. My God. That moved him. Yes, yeah. We should live yes, so much that we move people mm. to live like Christ. Yeah. 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 When Stephen said it, the Bible said, heaven opened up, heaven opened up. and Jesus <laughs> stood up. Stood up. <laughs> Who was that talking about?
Huh? And walk in love. How do you do it? I gotta walk in love. Huh? I gotta live my life in a lifestyle of love. Yeah. Yes. And if we had time, we would go to uh, what is it? Uh, Corinthians chapter 13. Yes. 1 Corinthians chapter yeah. 13. When I first heard that, somebody said, 1 Corinthians. I said, they don't know what they're talking about. Yeah. That's 1 Corinthians. I think they say 1 Corinthians. I think they say 1 Corinthians. I was in it. Uh, because that's how they used to say it in the old days. Uh-huh. But fornication. 
fornication and all uncleanness or covetousness. Let it not be once named among you as becoming saints. Mm. Mm. All right. Amen. We thank God for the Bible study tonight. I love 